Good afternoon, Asia. Good morning, Europe. Welcome back to day three now of the Industrial Ethernet Week Harting second edition. After the last two days, we will focus on device design today with one of the hottest topics in terms of industrial communication. We will hear a lot of news all around single pair Ethernet, but much more information of how to integrate connectivity into your communication device. But before we start, I would like to give some organizational hints for those of you um, who are joining the first time today. In your chat box, in the GoToWebinar meeting, you will have a link to a page where you can register and also ask questions and ask for an appointment um, with us, with the local sales responsibilities um, in the countries. Furthermore, you are able to ask questions, and whenever this is possible, we will integrate those questions here on stage. If not, we will pass it to the speaker and uh, they will be answered afterwards. We are really happy to have you with us here, and I'm really happy to start now with the first slot, SPE. Where are we, and what are the next steps? And for that, I would like to welcome Matthias Fritsche, senior expert of Ethernet at, from the Harting Technology Group. Matthias, good morning. Good Thank morning, Thank you so here, much yeah. to be with us. So, I know you are talking about SPE for years, and you are designing the standardization, and you are like, deep in it as you could be. But I think we have some people in, in the um, webinar today which heard the, um, are hearing the first time about the technology. Could you please give a brief overview of what we are talking about and what SPE stands for? Yes, of course. This is a very good hint. We cannot expect that everybody knows everything about single-pair Ethernet. So when we start with single-pair Ethernet, we have to think about how is Ethernet connectivity today. So the standard Ethernet is working. So we have fast Ethernet up to 100 megabit, and this is working with two pairs. So one is for sending the data and one for receiving the data. And later on, some years ago also, we joined the solution with gigabit Ethernet. And here we have changed the communication completely. So we use now four pairs, and each pair is used in parallel for sending and transmitting data, so bidirectional communication. And from this step to single pair Ethernet, it's not a fast step because you see we have now here four pairs and single pair Ethernet use only what just one pair. And uh, you see that if you go to one gigabit, we have in each pair 250 uh, yeah, megabit already. And if you go to the very often used also 10 gigabit today, we have in single pair already 2.5 gigabit. So this is a nice technology coming at first from the car industry. The other question came up where you use it. So we have Ethernet in many applications today. Why single pair Ethernet? But if you look, for example, to our industrial applications, uh, if it's automation in building or in industrial applications, we have Ethernet coming in the last years from the yeah, enterprise level down to the uh, field level. But it ends up very often in the devices like the PLC controller, frequency transformer, and so on. And you see still on one side this gap we have today where other systems are used. And single pair Ethernet here is really the game-changing technology where we can bring Ethernet technology really to the field level, to the sensors, and so on. And in this way, we can close this Ethernet gap, what we have today in many applications in the market, yeah. So this uh, is a short introduction, and to come into this topic we want to discuss today in different sessions, yeah. Perfect, and I see that you brought some products over there, right? Yes, of course. Today, our focus is to talk about device integration, and for this, as former product manager, I have a lot of products with you. So we as Harting, together with others, develop our own standard for single pair Ethernet interfaces. This is a so-called IEC 63171-6 standard. And inside the standard, you have many solutions for all kinds of industrial applications. And as always, here also for this product, we have the solution that we starting on the PCB level. And when you have everything to design in this technology to your own devices, and when we go up to connectors, cables, and so on. So let's start with some 
detailed view to the products. So first uh, products Harting was launched already more than one year ago was this IP20 solution with this jacks here. And also for this, we have the right connectors and cables. And you see here also some of our first switches and media converters where exactly this interface is used. And you see here this very tiny interface where the connector is connected. And what we have also now available on stock and really for sales is a six port switch. And also we have here to, to upgrade your network interfaces to the standard RG45. Uh, these devices are available for 100 megabit and gigabit. And of course you see here all the devices or all the components from the PCB up to the device integration. Yeah, of course uh, you can use uh, inside the switch cabinet, but we talk about the field level. And here we need also some waterproof solution. And this was also launched last year, the solutions for M12. So you have an uh, angled version also. You see it's a little bit longer, but you can integrate the M12 housing. So we have a rear mounting receptacle housing and a front mounting receptacle housing. And you see it fits to this vertical, uh, to this angled versions. And we have also vertical versions. Uh, here you see we have it in two different heights because depending on the other uh, devices and M12 interfaces you want to put on your board, you need different heights. Yeah, you see here, for example, uh, this is a board inside our M12 switch where we have this SBE interfaces and again also some power interfaces and one M12 X coded to the connection to the existing network. And here is a complete product uh, with this PCB inside. So also here you see we have um, six, seven ports for SBE. Uh, this can be used for 100 megabit and gigabit. And what you see here also is we have the M12 connection with the screw locking. And what we have also in place is a push-pull locking, what is much easier to connect in the field. But also interesting to know uh, if you want to test or to set up your devices, you can still also connect here the IP20 interfaces. It's also locked. This is a very nice feature for setup and to yeah, test some applications. Um, so far, you see here already the IP20 and the well-known M12 solution. If you want to you need something smaller for a small sensor and so on, of course, we have also M8 versions. Now it becomes a little bit difficult to see it. It's M M M M8 version with, with two contacts here inside. All these products are also compatible for Poodle remote powering and you get some more information in one of the next presentations. Um, if you want to have power separately because you need more power than Poodle can offer, for example, when we have also this very tiny M8 interface, the M8 hybrid, and here we have four contacts, so one pair for data and one for power, and here also we have the device integration and we have the cables and connectors for this. So you see, uh, as I mentioned at the beginning, we have a whole comp product range starting at the PCB, so the device integration from, uh, from your project up to the cables and, and cable sets and connector sets, uh, and at the end also the first active devices where you really can use this technology and integrate it in your applications. Yeah, so far something about the products. Yeah, Matthias, thank you very much. Looks like the technology is really living. But before I leave you finally alone on stage, I have one question, which is, like, I hear that from time to time in the market, and it's uh, not that much asked, but uh, so it's really uh, interesting for me. Um, from time to time, I hear that the standardization is not fixed and that everything is still open. And I would like to ask you to give us some more inputs regarding the status of standardization and uh, what is really fixed and what is probably not fixed uh, to, to us and, and, and the audience, please. Yeah, this is a very good hint. Uh, we hear this topic sometimes also in the discussion with customers. So you see in the market different connectors coming from the automotive area or some other companies. Uh, but still, um, the, the uh, customers use this as an yeah, argument not to start with the technology. Yeah, but for this, also some up, words yeah. about uh, SBE standardization in, in general or standardization of Ethernet protocols at all. So the basics 
protocols also designed from IEEE. IEEE here is a big organization where all the Ethernet stuff is standardized and developed, and they are a kind of system integrator. So you have this whole system, including the protocol, but also the decisions, what kind uh, of connectors should be used, what are the transmission lengths, and how many connections you, you have. And IEEE working together since many years also with the uh, cabling groups uh, at ISO IEC and TIA, and uh, because uh, IEEE creates the protocols and all the information you need to build up the, the semiconductors, but later on, someone has to install it in the field, and that's why we have this uh, documents from ISO IEC and TIA where you have a kind of cooking book how to install your network. So it can be, some of you know this number, so for example, IEC, ISO IEC 11801, but if you never heard about it, you, I, I'm sure you use the content of the standard. For example, if you buy a new patch code for your laptop, you use uh, this wording like CAT5, CAT6A, and so on, and this is, comes exactly from this ISO IEC. And also for single pair Ethernet, this group takes care uh, in this conversation with IEEE and created in parallel the standards for the cabling. And of course, they use some other standards groups for the cable itself, so the pure row cable, also defined for single pair Ethernet for different speeds and so on, and also the connectors. So this is how it works. But if you look a little bit really to applications, for example, um, we, we have here the solution um, uh, inside the factory, for example. And you see um, what we have, um, sorry, <laughs> we have the, the factory floor, for example, a production hall, and inside this factory hall you have this installation of your network for the machines and so on. And for this uh, installation, the ISO IEC 11801-3 for the industrial cabling is the right document, and this describes everything from, yeah, from the data center inside your so factory to, to the outlet inside uh, your installation. And when, if you look to the real applications, could be a robot cell or machinery. So we call this in the standardization process Automation Island. And here we have the IEC 61918 uh, active. And of course, also at TIA is the same. And short point, let's look inside this document. So ISO IEC also make an amendment one for the industry where exactly the connectors are defined. And you see here, um, for example, for the automation island, it's a 6 that we have uh, mentioned the dash six connector, so the industry style connector. And you see very exactly that it's only one connector and it's, it's, it's useful to know. The other one, what I mentioned also, ISO IEC. So if you want to make uh, the installation inside your factory, you use this standard, and here you see also that it's clearly written that this industry style connector should be used and sh shall be used. So there is, if you want to build up the network according to the standards, you have to go and follow this, the standards. The same we have also for TIA, and I'll give you also a few to this document and you see here also the connector itself, and again the text what gives you the clear yeah, guidance to use this connector for all kind of industrial applications. So that's why you see already the standard is clear and everything is set uh, in the market so that we can also give the crystal clear message to the market. We have the protocols for single pay Ethernet available from IEEE from 10 megabit up to gigabit, we have the connectors on cables uh, available in the standards and also the way how to make your cabling with the cabling standards coming up from ISO IEC and for the North American market from TIA and so on. So this is a clear message uh, in the market and everything is fine. But then the next question very often come up, yeah, now the standards are clear uh, what it's with the market. But keep in mind, inside the standardization organization, many experts from many regions of the world work together and found this best solutions for this installation practice for, for single pair Ethernet. And um, during this process, we go in touch also with many companies. And three years ago, we founded together with this company, this uh, single pair Ethernet industrial partner network. And you see here on this map 
how many companies are working together in this group to creating this technology, this bringing this technology to the market and, uh, and also train the market about this technology. And you see here all these big names from the automation, from the, uh, from the connectivity, cabling, and all these components, and just give you also a clear message that the market is supporting the standardized products. And also here you have the, the guidance and the security. If you use these solutions, you are on the right way. What we also did in this foundation is creating everything what it's needed to bring this technology to the market. And I want to show up again this SPE ecosystem. In the core, we have the, the standard, uh, what I show you to you. And then in the next level, we have the components. So I show you all the connectivity components from Harting. And we are now in this process to integrate this technology to different devices. You see already some first switches. But uh, today we focus also on device integration. And uh, I guess that many of you, if you want to use this technology, need some more information. And for this, we create together with all these partners a single pair Ethernet product database where you found the products from Harting, but from many other companies at all. And so definitely this database is supplier neutral. You found many company products here. You found now more than 370 products. So yesterday I did already an update and get more products for this database. And you have support with this database. You have on one point, in one place in the, in the website, everything you need for it. And to give you some more information, I jump over to this database. And the easiest way to jump in to this database is, of course, our website from the Industrial Partner Network. I guess we need some seconds to switch over. Where you found a lot of white papers about the single pair Ethernet technologies, but also for the device integrations, a lot of application notes. For example, some details about the different hybrid systems where you have power and data separately, but also a lot of MDI integrations, so how uh, you make your circuit design of the magnetics and so on. And what you found also here on this Web page is a link to the product database, and here we are. And uh, to use it, you need to log in for it. You have a short registration process, and then you can log in. So, okay. Sometimes. It work. Ah. This is exactly the point. Okay, here we are. So after the login, you end up at this page, and where you found all the single components you need to use this technology. And very often we get the question from the customers, what kind of semiconductors can we use? And that's why we jump in this point at first. And you see already we have a lot of semiconductors, so you can also enlarge it to 100, for example. And you see here more than 100 products are already inside this database. And also we have a second page. For example, if you want to design a, a sensor with 10 base T1L, you can just search for any kind of products here in, in a way that you type in it to the search field. And when you come up with the products, and when you can go directly from this point, for example, if you want to device, uh, develop a kind of um, frequency transformer, when, for example, this product from analog is interesting, and you jump directly to, to the right page. Also, we have here the different um, evaluation boards for it. And you can also go to, to this one, where you come to this board directly. So um, definitely, it is a point where many uh, time you can, can, can save many times, because um, in the past, if you search on different websites, uh, it's, it's time consuming. And here you have all the semiconductors, what you need. What I also want to point out, we have the passive components, or magnetics we, we have here. We have active components. Also here switches, for example. Uh, for 10 base T1L, we have a media converter. 
you can order it and get it directly from here. And at the end, I want to show you also something about real devices because uh, up to here, all the comp I show you all the single components you can use for, for your device integration. But if you really want to use the technology itself, for example, you go under devices and you found, for example, here the first devices from Perinet. And here I want to show you, um, for example, one of the starter kits where you can use the single pair Ethernet technology up today. And um, these devices here on the screen are very small. So you have a kind of media converter where you can go from your standard network via the, this media converter to the single pair Ethernet network when you have the different cables. And Perinet developed a very nice device. It's a so-called Perinode where you can connect standard sensors and make this connector to a real network device. So inside the small Perry node, you have the analog digital conversion, but you have also a web interface, so you can directly go with your web browser to this device, see what it's going on, and also MQTT broker is on this device. And to build up bigger networks, they have also this Perry switch that looks like a passive component, but it's really an active network device where you can enlarge and uh, build up a bigger networks with a line topology and a star topology. So all these components are available in the database and you found it also here on web. So um, I hope you get a lot of information from, from this presentation. You see the standards are ready. The market has made a strong decision to this interface. And if you want to use this technology, we will support you with know-how like the application nodes and the database. And if you really want to start to evaluate the technology itself, you have also the first devices with sensors and so on. So I guess it is a strong message to the market. Single pay Ethernet is ready for your applications. So thanks for your attention so far. Thank you so much, Matthias. Thank you so much. Always not enough time for this interesting topic, but also Matthias' LinkedIn inbox is open, like all our inboxes in LinkedIn and so on are open. Contact us uh, to, to, to get the discussion ongoing. Um, very interesting insights about the database. This is what I really like because this is unique on the market as I understood it. Um, you guys will find the link to the database Matthias just briefly showed in, um, in the um, chat box um, of the GoToWebinar meeting. Um, and um, we will be happy to see your registration there if this is an interesting topic for you. So thank you and goodbye Matthias. Thanks. See you next time. And